What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another weekly recap. As always, going to be going over the previous week in prep, 18 weeks out, and then setting the standards or covering what we're doing for 17 weeks out. No big changes this week or anything, but we'll cover training, nutrition, and then also get you guys some posing footage to see how the physique is looking. So without further ado, gonna roll some training footage and kind of cover the training as well as put all of my numbers, sets, exercises up on screen for you so we can kind of dissect that. Um, but yeah, first push day, very successful. Um, two main exercises that we're looking to like progress or keep numbers on really is the uh, dumbbell bench press and the seated overhead. So you'll see some clips of that on screen. But yeah, just rolling through training, still doing my push pull legs um, and then cardio and some arms or weak point training. And then lastly, upper and lower. So kind of moving on pull big thing, just focus on those weighted pull ups, a couple of vertical movements, a um, couple of horizontal rows, and then have that bicep training in. Um, and then moving on to the first lower day. Big thing for me is just that back squat. I don't know how long um, we'll be able to keep the back squat at like three by tens, a couple of sets at 405 um, is starting to get heavier. And that's not so much um, like falling off strength wise. It's just mass moves is mass and coming from like 230 pounds down to this morning at like 214 something. Um, starting to feel the effects of that on some of the compound lifts, just not as stable um, as I would like to be at this point. So just really focus on maintaining that strength and then just on the other exercises, getting as much as I can out of them. Um, big thing with just cardio and arms is more of a recovery day. And then um, lastly, moving on to the last two days of the week, upper and lower. Um, incline dumbbell, big exercise. And then also I would say lat pull down, just to focus, um, very good movement in terms of same execution each week. And then lastly, um, for lower, the second lower day, I feel like I left out a little bit of volume between those last three exercises, the hack squat, deadlift and the leg press. So I'll be adding an extra set in, um, just still, kind of depending if we go ahead and add an extra set to leg press or if we add an extra set to hack squat, kind of leaning towards leg press. Uh, it's an easier movement in terms of stabilization, just overall fatigue, but absolutely annihilate the quads with good ROM and good tempo. So that kind of wraps it up for training. I'll keep the um, or I guess hopping over now to um, just how we're looking for nutrition and cardio on screen. Um, very successful week all around. So car or essentially calories technically went up a little bit, but moving forward, gonna be aiming for that 2650 number. Um, that'll bring us around that 230 to 240 grams of protein like to be around 260 carb and then anywhere um, within the 70s for fat is good with me just to keep um, for my calories i honestly perform more fat than carbs so with just like health markers in general can get away with a very low carb diet and feel good um, so for me keeping fats in a healthy area i would say like 55 grams plus is going to be kind of like a necessity for me per se. So we'll wean off carbs even more as we go deeper. Um, and then weight progressing nicely down, as you see there, um, 2.34 pounds from uh, 19, or excuse me, 20 to 19 weeks out. And then also still had a pound and a half drop this week is kind of the first week suggesting calories. So I'm guesstimating that that'll slow down a bit as we go but just going to keep the ball rolling as long as i can on those two metrics so or on that weight metric and calories and then cardio has stayed the same and i don't see making any um, severe changes to that just 20 minutes incline treadmill 
at 12 and a half incline, three miles per hour, um, and that'll get you right to that 200 calories. So structure cardio is at 200 calories. And then I would say just step counts, because I have been just mindful of it, is anywhere from about 9,000 to 11,000 steps. So we'll just try and keep as many variables consistent as I can. Um, and then something I just wanted to touch on, um, big factor for prep in general, is just controlling stress and then also recovery, which is mainly sleep. Um, so one thing I've been doing, just because I am personally a mouth breather, um, so I'll find sometimes just wake up in the morning, have sensitive teeth or just a very dry throat. So I have been just taping my mouth just with some very cheap 3M tape that you can get off of like Amazon or probably at your like local CVS or Walmart. Um, but that has, I would say, benefited me a bit, especially in terms of like tea sensitivity in the morning and sleep has been great. So I'm not gonna say it's due to the mouth taping, but there are some studies that show just nasal breathing being very healthy in general versus uh, mouth breathing. So I'm gonna continue to do that through um, the foreseeable future. And then kind of just touching on rolling into 17 weeks out, just hopefully hit those same numbers, um, calorie wise, training wise, hopefully progress a rep here or there where I can, um, but really just at this point, maintenance for training, um, same calories, same cardio, and we're just looking for progression in the physique, hopefully as you guys have seen on screen um, by now. But yeah, just a very quick weekly update for you guys. If there's any content you'd like to see in the future, whether that's like training videos, full day of eatings again, I know that video did pretty well on the channel. Um, I'll work to hopefully get one of those out like every two weeks in addition to the recaps there. Um, but yeah, if there's anything specific, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. But that's all I really had to cover in this video. As always, thank you so much for watching the end. If you do have questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more prep content as we go forward. Got um, some shows in mind, hopefully make announcements in the future, but stay tuned for that. And as always, stay fed. Have a good one.